Hello, welcome to your virtual university residences tour. Today we'll be showing you a standard double-sized room, which is our most common room on campus. We'll also be showing you the common areas of Owen Hall and talking briefly about dining. My name is Jake, I'm currently a senior here in aerospace engineering, and I'm from Linden, Michigan. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Polensky. I'm a junior studying speech, language, and hearing sciences with minors in human development and family studies and critical disabilities, and I'm from Orange County, California. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Small. I'm a junior here studying in nursing and I'm from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Dimitri. I'm a junior studying aerospace engineering here with a minor in Spanish and I'm from Ashburn, Virginia. Alright, we're going to get started on our tour, so if you want to head on out and follow me. Behind me right here is Ford Dining Court. This is one of our five dining courts on campus. Purdue offers a variety of meal plans depending on what your budget is. In addition to the dining courts, Purdue also has several retail dining locations on campus, such as Qdoba, Jersey Mike's, Chick-fil-A, and Starbucks. Some of the dining courts, such as Ford, also offer on-the-go options. If you're crunched for time and just want to get something quick to eat or some snacks, this is a great option. Purdue is also unique in that you can even get your food delivered by robot. Through Starship Robots, our robot delivery service, you can get food from various locations around campus delivered right to you. All you have to do is order on our mobile app. Welcome to Owen Residence Hall. This is one of our many residence halls on campus. Owen is a co-ed residence hall and it has economy double style rooms. Now we're going to take some time to talk about transportation and safety at Purdue. Although freshmen cannot have parking passes, we have a lot of reliable transportation at Purdue, like our buses that come every five to 10 minutes around various convenient spots throughout campus, so you never have to walk in the cold if you don't want to. Another transportation option we have here is Zipcar. You can rent a car straight from your phone if you need to go to an appointment or even just the store. As for safety, all of our residence halls have these black boxes on the wall that allow only the residents of that hall to swipe in at all times for safety. In our co-ed residence halls, men are on one wing and women are on the other. Residents can bring guests, but they must escort them at all times, and there are residence assistants on every floor to make sure this is being done. Right now we are standing in our standard double room. This is what all of our standard doubles look like in all of our residence halls. However, they might have a few different features. Everything you see in wood does come with a room. So every room does come with a bed, a dresser, a desk, and some form of closet. It may not look exactly how it is in this video, but there is a closet in every room. If you would like to lock your bed, you are able to do so. You would go through our bed locking company, Bedlock. You also don't have to lock your bed. You can keep it like this, or you could raise your bed as well. Through our bed locking company, you are able to rent a fridge and a microwave, as well as buy a futon. You don't have to, you are able to bring your own. Some things you're not allowed to bring are a toaster oven, a crock pot, or anything else with a flame or anything that could catch on fire. With that said, we also do not allow drugs or alcohol in any of our residence halls, even if you are 21 years or older. If you'd like to decorate your walls, you are able to do so. However, you can't do anything that's going to permanently damage them. So nothing like nails or paint. So our students like to use command hooks or command strips just to make their room feel a bit more homey. All of our rooms do have Wi-Fi, so you are able to bring a TV if you would like to do so. Purdue does offer a live streaming feed as well as free HBO for our students. Most of the standard doubles, like the room you see today, there are communal bathrooms that are shared between about 40 to 50 people, which can sound daunting at first, but they are cleaned every single day, and I never had to wait for a bathroom or a shower when I lived in the residence halls. There are three ways you can choose your roommates at Purdue. First, if you already know someone, you can request to live together as roommates. Second, you can use the class Facebook to choose a roommate. Or you can fill out our not so random survey and we will match you with a roommate who has similar preferences. Know that this is not 100% guaranteed. And if you choose to join a learning community, you cannot live with someone that does not live in your learning community. Requests for roommates or learning communities are due April 15th, along with your housing contract. And all housing contracts regardless are due May 5th. 
If you have never heard of a learning community, I encourage you to check out our 80 plus learning communities. Purdue offers that are either grouped by majors or thematic types like ROTC or engineering service projects. We're in the main lobby of Owen Hall right now, which is not only a great study space, but it has one of the great resources of living in the residence hall is the front desk. The front desk is gonna be your go-to place if you ever need help within the residence hall. So if you get locked out, need an ID, you can go there to get a temporary one. The front desk is also gonna be where you pick up packages or you can check out board games, rec equipment like ping pong paddles and pool sticks, as well as check out the key to the kitchenette that's in every hall. Another great benefit of the front desk is that it's gonna be open 24 seven to help you with any needs that you have. This is a typical laundry room that will be in the residence halls. There are plenty of washers and dryers to use for all the residents. The way that you do laundry here is on something called Boiler Express, which is money preloaded onto your ID card. You can load the money on there, then use it when you pay. The laundry costs about $1.50 to wash and $1.75 to dry, and there's usually plenty of washers and dryers available. However, there's also usually an app that you can use to monitor whether there's washers and dryers available so that you can know when, exactly when your laundry is done. The laundry room will be open 24-7, so you can do that at any time of the day that's convenient for you. There's also these nice study areas around, plus vending machines and ice machines in the residence halls to offer you space to study if you choose to stay here while your laundry is going. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our tour today. If you have any questions, you can contact us at urguestcenter at purdue.edu.